Hi everyone! Today's video is dedicated to one of the most famous Italian breads, ciabatta bread, with its crisp and chewy crust and its light airy interior texture Ciabatta bread is perfect for slicing and making delicious panini or bruschetta and it's also great for dipping in extra virgin olive oil or into your favorite sauce. If you have never made ciabatta bread before and you feel a little intimidated by the process, you will be surprised at just how easy this ciabatta bread recipe is. This recipe doesn't require any performance or starters such as biga or polish, just a small amount of fresh yeast and an overnight fermentation in the fridge. So let's see the recipe and the ingredients we need. 400 grams flour, I'm using half bread flour and half durum flour. 320 milliliters water room temperature plus 1 tablespoon, 1 tablespoon olive oil, 5 grams salt, 2 grams fresh yeast, a pinch of sugar. So the first thing we need to do is combine and mix the flours and then sift them together. Pour the water into the mixing bowl of a stand mixer with a dough hook attached. Turn the mixer on low speed and start adding the flour gradually mixing until just combined. The mixture will be a rough lumpy mass. Cover and let the dough rest for 30 minutes to an hour. This resting period is called auto lease. It allows the dough to fully hydrate and begins gluten formation. Meanwhile, mix the yeast and sugar into one tablespoon of water, stirring until dissolved. After the auto lease period, gradually add the remaining ingredients, yeast mixture, salt and oil, maintaining the same speed. Increase to medium speed and knead for 2 minutes, then turn the mixer to high speed and beat for another 4 to 5 minutes until it becomes smooth, elastic and starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl. Transfer the dough to a lightly oiled container covered with a towel and let it rise until it looks puffy and has more than double in volume. This will take 4 to 6 hours depending on the room temperature and humidity. Use an oil spatula to gently lift and fold the dough over itself all the way around until mostly deflated. Cover the container with a lid or plastic wrap and refrigerate overnight. Halfway through the fermentation process, take dough out of the fridge and fold it over itself with a spatula, then return to the fridge. The next day, remove the dough from the fridge and let it proof in the container at room temperature for about 2 hours until the dough doubles in volume and feels light and puffy. Generously dust your work surface with semolina flour. Transfer the dough to the work surface, sprinkle the top with a little semolina flour and divide it in half with a bench scraper. Thank you. 
using wet fingertip gently press and stretch the dough into a rectangular shape trying not to deflate completely fold each rectangle into thirds like a business letter then flip them over onto a rimless cookie sheet lined with parchment paper Dust with the molina flour cover and let rise for one hour or until puffy but not doubled in volume. One hour before baking, place baking stone on lowest rack and a shallow metal pan on the floor of the oven to create steam. Preheat to 230 degrees Celsius. If you don't have a baking stone, use an upside down baking sheet. Immediately before placing the ciabatta in the oven, carefully pour a cup of hot water into the steam pan, then shut the door quickly. Slide the ciabatta bread with the parchment paper onto the baking stone and bake for 10 minutes, then remove the pan from the oven. Lower the temperature to 210 degrees Celsius and bake for another 30 to 35 minutes or until the ciabatta is deep golden brown and crusty and sounds hollow when tapped on the bottom. Transfer to wire rack and cool completely before slicing and serving. Who can resist the smell of freshly baked bread? Not me! Follow the recipe and the dough directions and you can have this ciabatta bread on your dinner table because there's nothing more satisfying than enjoying a delicious slice of your homemade bread. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.